Thank you. Uh, yes, over 40 journalists, 40 journalists were questioned um, in early morning grades uh, yesterday morning. And uh, this has been, um, you know, this is part of a case that was registered on August 17th under India's anti-terror laws. These are called the UAPA, uh, Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. Uh, it's a draconian law that allows for arrests of individuals without the right of bail. Um, these arrests uh, and, and, and detentions were uh, happened uh, on allegations that the news website was receiving funding from uh, from an American millionaire who has been accused by the New York Times for uh, spending money on Chinese propaganda outlets, um, and uh, the raids were part of uh, the these charges. Yes. Do we know where NewsClick does get its funding from? Um, uh, they have categorically denied these allegations. Earlier in 2021, they were also treated by India's Enforcement Directorate. Um, there were allegations of uh, them violating India's Foreign Direct Investment Act. Uh, they denied these charges, and uh, that was a case arrest, uh, you know, uh, it, that was withheld by the Delhi High Court at the time. Yeah. Give us a sense of what issues they cover, how you would categorize NewsClick as, as a media outlet. Yeah, uh, they have been known for uh, critical coverage against the government. Uh, they have very senior uh, journalists, activists, uh, historians uh, who also were detained um, and, and, and their houses raided. Um, they, uh, they, they have been extremely vocal against their, their critique of the government. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's known to be to have an anti-establishment coverage. Yeah, they wouldn't, of course, be the first news organization targeted by authorities because um, of critical coverage of the government. Right. Um, as we know, you know, even uh, earlier Feb in February this year, the offices of BBC in India were raided in New Delhi uh, after BBC released a documentary um, that raised questions on Prime Minister Narendra Modi's links in the Gujarat uh, genocide in 2002. Uh, we know that these attacks have only increased since then. Um, um, this attack on uh, News Click, for example, is probably one of the biggest raids that has happened in India over the past few years. Um, you know, more than 40 40 journalists were, uh, were questioned, their devices were snatched, uh, uh, their devices were taken by the Delhi police, um, and NewsClick a few hours ago released a statement saying that they have not even been given a copy of the FIR and the police uh, complaint. Do you think it so was, op yeah, so is it their feeling that this was opportunistic to use this New York Times report to pounce on the organisation? Um, yes, uh, critiques of the government uh, have raised this point, uh, and in the past, uh, the Narendra Modi government has criticized New York Times for its coverage against India in many many topics. So um, it's 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 uh, the, the critiques have said that they are choosing to focus on this particular report. Um, when the report came out, uh, you know, the IT minister um, uh, of India had said that they will investigate uh, organizations with links uh, that have received uh, funding from China. Yeah. India, I noticed, is ranked 161 out of 180 countries in this year's Press Freedom Index, which is not really a great record for a country that sees itself as the biggest democracy in the world. Right. Um, yes, uh, attacks on press have increased dramatically. Um, uh, uh, the World Press Freedom Index is one such example of, uh, of, of India's falling rankings. Um, there have been uh, multiple arrests of uh, journalists over the past few years, especially journalists belonging to the minority community. Uh, the government has often been, um, you know, uh, 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 heavy-handed in, in terms of its, um, in, in the way it deals with critiques. Um, and, and as we can see with the, with the raids on News Click, you know, I mean, uh, the pattern is very clear. Yeah. Anisha, appreciate your time on this. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.